Important terms in valuation. 1. Gross income. Gross income is the total income and it includes all receipts from various sources the outgoings. 2. Net income. This is saving all the amounts left after deducting all outgoings, operational and collection expenses. 3. Outgoings. Outgoings are the expenses which are required to be incurred to maintain the revenue of the building. 4. Repairs. The repairs are required to be carried out every year to maintain a property in fit condition. Usually 10 to 15% gross income or gross rent allowed for repairs. 5. Management and collection charges. These include expenses on rent collector, chokidar, liftman, pump attendant, sweeper extra. About 5 to 10% of gross rent may be taken. 6. Loss of rent. The property may not be kept fully occupied in such a case a suitable amount should be deducted from gross rent under outgoings. 7. Scrap value. Scrap values is the value of dismantled materials. For a building when the life is over at the end of its utility period, the dismantled materials as steel, bricks, timber extra, will fetch a certain amount, which is the scrap value of the building. 8. Salvage value. It is the value at the end of utility period without being dismantled. 9. Market value. The market value of a property is the amount which can be obtained at any particular time from open market if the property put into sale. 10. Book value. Book value is the amount shown in the account book after allowing necessary depreciations. 11. Rateable value. Rateable value is the net annual letting value of a property, which is obtained after deducting the amount of yearly repairs from the gross income. 12. Obsolescence. The value of property or structures become less by its becoming out of date in style, in structure in design extra. And this is termed as obsolescence. 13. Annuity. Annuity is the annual periodic payment for repayments of the capital amount invested by party. 14. Capital cost. Capital cost is the total cost of construction including land or the original total amount required to possess a property. 15. Capitalized value. The capitalized value of a property is the amount of money whose annual interest at the highest prevailing rate of interest will be equal to the net income from the property. 16. Year's purchase. Year's purchase is defined as the capital sum required to be invested in order to receive an annuity of rupees 1 at certain rate of interest. 17. Sinking fund. The fund which is gradually accumulated by way of periodic on annual deposit for the replacement of the building or structure at the end of its useful life is termed as sinking fund. 18. Depreciation. Depreciation is the gradual exhaustion of the usefulness of a property. 19. Mortgage. An owner can borrow money against the security of his property. 20. Mortgager. The person who takes the loans is known as mortgager. 21. Mortgagee. The person who advances the loan is known as mortgagee. 22. Mortgage deed. The relevant document for the mortgage. 23. Equity of redemption. When the loan is fully repaid together with interest also mortgager has got the right free his property from the mortgagee. This is known as equity of redemption. 24. Freehold property. A freehold property means that the owner is in absolute possession of the property and the owner can utilize the same in any manner. 25. Leasehold property. It indicates the physical possession of the property and the use of it may be allowed by the original owner as per lease document. 26. Easements. Easements are the rights and privileges which one owner of property enjoys over the property by another. Thank you.